I'm starting a new conversation about inequality. Lack of unity. Grassroots leadership. I'm using my voice. Affordable housing. To address Religious disparity. Fear of people with disabilities. Education. Diseases. Arts and culture. Marital challenges. The racial disparity. Education reform. Emotional struggles. The people in the community are generally not heard. Communities of color, low-income, middle-income communities have always been left out of this process. We don't see the perspectives of the regular folks or the folks without money. And so it's a very disempowering state to be in. I just couldn't walk into ABC and say, hey, I want to do the show and then take me seriously. But here, the concept of me doing a show is a reality. I think that's the kind of model that is needed to empower the people. It's all about media empowerment. So the structure of the Open Media Foundation, we have three components. We have services where we provide high-end professional video production, web development, and design services. The second phase is our education programs designed to move people from a dependency on the Open Media Foundation towards self-sufficiency, where they can create their own media, be their own voice, and reflect their own perspective in the social conversation. The third component is the resources that we provide through the Open Media Foundation. Uh, it's not just television studios, it's field equipment, it's editing equipment, it's software and distribution channels that people need to be their own voice in the media. The image of what you are and what you're all about is often now first seen on a website. In researching, I found out about Open Media Foundation and not only were they cost-effective to us, but they were so easy to work with. They completely understood what we were all about, who we were trying to serve, and how we were trying to go about that. And I, myself, have never been involved in creating a website. And now I can easily maintain the one that we have. Having a place like Senior Resource Center can really make the difference in being able to spend that, that quality time with a loved one. Um, and not having to be in that stressed place, in that place of, of panic and overwhelmed and I have to do all these other things, but really what I want to do is just spend time with that person I love. He's the only male figure in Omar's life. There's nobody else. Even though my dad's not around, I still have somebody to talk to. Me and Tom, we can talk about anything, so it's always fun being around him. And my dad is somewhere in my heart. So it used to be enough to be able to read and write, to be able to get your voice heard or your ideas out there in society, and today that it's just not enough. These tools have become so cheap and easily accessible that a lot of people are able to learn how to use them and to distribute them over the web, but not everyone. And the Open Media Foundation is really providing those tools to communities that wouldn't otherwise have access to them. It's a skill I've acquired, you know, something I didn't have to pay thousands of dollars in the, you know, college to do that. I had 15 years experience as a news reporter, but I, my deficits me, make it impossible for me to write clearly. I can't write, but I can turn on a video camera. And despite all my deficits and obstacles and long learning curve, we get there in the end, even if we're not technically perfect, we do have mistakes here and there. I mean, we go home and laugh about that, and we plan to do the next one. Most of the time when you hear people say, oh, you are producing the show, it's like, ooh, well, it's possible. Anyone out there is able to do that. It just takes the first step of walking through the doors and at least taking a tour of this place and going from there. CPC has gone from having no skills or videos to producing over 15 videos and uh, production of over 10 studio programs, uh, which has helped us gain more awareness in the community. If I had not had opportunity to be trained at DOM, if I had not had opportunity to use equipment, then my message would have been nice and great on that Sunday, and that would have been the end. All of us deal with things. In I'm here in Denver, Colorado, but my message is touch people in India, in Pakistan, 
in Africa, in so many other places. And so the media has really not only opened your mind, it has opened your heart, you know, to the needs of people, as well as calling you to participate. And that's the key, participation. The hands of power are shifting to the common people. Now, the benefit to us as a society is that you have productive citizens. Being active and, and engaged in dialogue is key to producing a better community, a better world. And when we have millions of people communicating before you know it, the world will become a global village, which we say it is, but it's, we're not there yet. Okay, but we're moving there. And that comes about as a result of communication through media. And that's a world we all want to be in, to share what we have to share. We are trying to educate you about uh, brains, brain anatomy. And I know it's a boring subject, and this one looks like it's been uh, decomposing. I have holes in my brain, and I'm disabled, but I still have something to contribute. It gives a voice to the voiceless. It gives power to the powerless. And you will get a little lesson in I'm brain sorry, anatomy. It's very empowering to be around so many passionate people who are dedicated to solving contemporary social problems. I want to see people live their fullest. I want to see people enjoy life, fulfilling their dream and their destiny. This is the type of community that I would like to live in. A community where we all equal.